What's up guys, Alex from FIFA Scouting Tips here, and welcome to my guide to the best cheap high potential left backs in FIFA 17. Today I'm going to show you my top 3 left backs, but for the full guide to every cheap high potential left back in the game, head over to fifascoutingtips.com. Every player there has a minimum potential of 80 and a maximum overall of 75 just to help keep things cheap. There are loads of players in the article so there are plenty to choose from, so now let's have a look at my recommendations. First up we have Elmir Nabiullin, he starts at 72 overall and has 84 potential, he's 21 years old and plays for Ruben Kazan in Russia. Now Ruben Kazan won £5.5 million for him but you can buy him for around about £4.7 million. His wages are £17,000, he's left footed with a 2 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves and also the speedster speciality. So this guy is like the perfect left back. He is absolutely rapid with 92 acceleration and 91 sprint speed and he's got decent stamina too so won't get tired too early in the game. And he can use that pace to great effect in attack and with his 72 crossing, 73 dribbling and 80 balance that will also help out when attacking. But unlike a lot of fullbacks who like bombing forward, his defending is excellent too with all of his tackling and marking stats in the mid 70s. And to round it all off he's got 84 potential making him one of the most promising cheap left backs in the game. Next up we have Charlie Taylor, he starts at 72 overall and has 80 potential, he's 22 years old and plays for Leeds United. Now Leeds want £3.5 million for him and you can knock that down to around about £2.9 million so he's a bit more affordable. His wages are £13,500, he's left footed with a 2 star weak foot, 2 star skill moves and the early crosser trait. So if you need a fullback who can double as a centre back if needed, Charlie Taylor is a great choice. That's because he's tall at 6 foot 1, has good jumping and his strength isn't too bad either. But he's not just a mispositioned centre back, he's good at full back too. He's pacey and has great crossing so he'll be an excellent player on the break and he can tackle and read the game as well. Plus he's got 82 stamina so he'll last all game wherever you end up playing him. And finally we have Declan John. He starts at 69 overall and has 80 potential, he's 21 years old and plays for Cardiff City. Now Cardiff want £2 million for him and you can get that down to around about £1.5 million making him very cheap indeed. His wages are £12,000, he's left footed with a 3 star weak foot and 2 star skill moves. So if Nabiulin and Taylor are too expensive for your team, take a look at this guy. He's available for just £1.5 million, that doesn't mean you're getting a mediocre player. He's very pacey with 86 acceleration and 82 sprint speed and like Nabiulin, his stamina will enable him to put that speed to good use all game. His attacking and defending stats are very well balanced as well so he can chip in all over the pitch and it means he's going to be a very versatile player once he gets close to his 80 potential. He's perfect for lower league teams who have restricted budgets. So I'm now going to show you how my recommendations did after 3 years of growth. I didn't do any player training, it's just the base growth so remember that if you train these players they can do even better. So here is Elmer Nabiulin after 3 years of growth and what a player he is now. He's rated 80 at 24 years old, still uh, plenty of time left to grow even more and look at his stats, he's got 99 acceleration and 99 sprint speed, absolutely amazing, going to be so hard to stop whether he's in a defence or attack that's going to be amazing. His stamina is up to 75 and his balance is 82, both very useful stats to have. In terms of his technical stats, his defensive stats are excellent, 84 marking, 82 stand tackle and 81 slide tackle, going to be so hard to beat him. In attack he's got 80 crossing, 78 dribbling, 76 ball control and even 74 heading so he's going to be uh, really useful in a number of different ways in attack as well as in defence and his passing is good as well. A really good overall player, fantastic player to get if you can afford him. And here is Taylor after 3 years of growth, he's now up to 78 overall at 25 years old, just 2 points off his uh, potential but he's got plenty of time left to grow even more. His uh, tackling stats looking really good, especially that stand tackle, 85 now, going to be amazing in one on ones. He's got 77 slide tackle and 76 marking, very good as well. His pace has gone up, it was good but not amazing before but now it's on 80, both sprint speed and acceleration so very good there. And uh, 83 stamina as well, in fact all of his physical stats bar balance are now great. Green, uh, very good to have. His heading is good too, uh, 74 jumping, 71 heading accuracy and he's 6 foot 1 as well so useful there in the air and 80 crossing giving plenty of opportunities to his teammates when he gets to the byline. So very good if you want to play him at centre back but also at full back as well. And here is Declan John after 3 years of growth, he's up to 76 overall at 23 years old. He was our cheap player but you wouldn't know it, he's grown quite a lot now and is looking really good. 
94 acceleration and 86 sprint speed. That means he's a speedster now. A really, really fast player. Uh, 81 balance as well and 87 agility. Excellent stats to have there in the physical stats. His defending stats are looking some of his strongest technical stats now. 77 stand tackle, 79 marking and 74 slide tackle. Going to be uh, pretty difficult to beat there in defense. And 74 crossing and 72 short passing. Very useful when supplying his teammates. So a good overall player. If you bought him with a lower league team, you'll be very, very pleased with him considering he was so cheap. So that is it for my guide to the best cheap high potential left backs in FIFA 17. Don't forget to go to fifascoutingtips.com to check out the full article that will have every left back in the game uh, with a minimum potential of 80 and a maximum overall of 75. That just helps keep things cheap so you know that if you're managing a lower league team you should be able to afford a lot of them. Uh, also check out all the other articles on that website and on my YouTube channel as well. There's all sorts of good uh, career mode guides there, uh, good teams for career mode, good players to buy, that sort of stuff, useful stuff to know. And uh, if there's anything else you want me to do on this channel or on my website, please do let me know. I do read all your comments. Uh, try to take it all on board. I'm always looking to improve what I do, uh, whether that's on the website or on the channel as well. Uh, so make sure you uh, subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video and thought it was useful for you. Leave a like as well if you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching. As a technically gifted, you have a much better chance of finding strikers with physically strong than with attacker. But as with technically gifted, there's a problem. 